The trabuco, Italian pronunciation, tra bucco, or trabaco, in some southern dialects called travac, is an old fishing machine typical of the coast of Abruzzi region, especially in the Trabacchi coast or Costa dei Trabacchi, and also in the coast of Gargano, where it is protected as historical monuments by the homonym National Park. Spread along the coast of southern Adriatic especially in the Italian provinces of Chieti, Campobasso, and Foggia and also in some parts of the coast of southern Tyrrhenian Sea. Construction features A trabuco is a massive construction built from wood, which consists of a platform anchored to the rock by large logs of Aleppo pine, jutting out into the sea, from where two, or more, long arms called antennae stretch out suspended some feet above the water and supporting a huge, narrow-meshed, net called trabacchetto. The morphology of the Gargano coast and of Abruzzo determined the presence of two different types of trabuco. The garganic trabuco is usually anchored to a rocky platform, longitudinally extended to the coastline, from which the antennae depart. The variant of Abruzzo and Molise, also called Balancia, often insists on shallower coasts and therefore is characterized by the presence of a platform, transversal to the coast, which is connected by a tight bridge made of wooden boards. A balancia has just one winch, often electrically operating, even when the sea is perfectly calm. A bruzzo balancia has also a net much smaller than that of Gargano Trabuco. Another feature that differentiates the two types is the length and number of antennae. More extensive Gargano, also double that of Abruzzo and Molise, in Termoli balances were more than two antennae, Gargano always two or more. History According with some historians of Apulia, the trabuco was invented in the region imported from Phoenicians. The earliest documented existence dates back to 18th century, during which Gargano fishermen, during that period sparsely populated, devised an ingenious technique of fishing which wasn't subject to weather conditions in the area. Trabuci were built in the most prominent promontories jutting nets out to sea through a system of monumental wooden arms. A trabuco allows to fish without having to be submitted to sea conditions using the morphology of Gargano rocky coast. The trabuco is built with traditional wood Aleppo pine, the typical pine of Gargano and common throughout the southwestern Adriatic because this material is virtually limitless for his dissemination in the area. Modeled, elastic, weatherproof and resistant to salt, trabuco must resist to strong mistral usually blowing in these areas. Some trabuci have been rebuilt in recent years thanks to public funds. However, since they lost their economic function in the past centuries when they were the main economical source of entire families of fishermen, Trabuci rose into the role of cultural and architectural symbols and tourist attraction. Fishing system The fishing technique, quite efficacious, is on sight. It consists of intercepting, with wide nets, the flows of fish moving along the ravines of the coast. Trabuci are located where the sea is deep enough, at least 6 meters, and are built on rocky peaks generally oriented southeast or north in order to exploit the favorable marine current. The net is lowered into the water through a complex system of winches and, likewise, promptly pulled up to retrieve its catch. At least two men are entrusted with the tough task of operating the winches that maneuver the giant net. Small trabuci of Abruzzo and Molise coast are often electrically powered. The trabuco is managed at least by four fishermen called trabucolanti, who share the duties of watching the fish and maneuvering. Distribution The trabucos are a distinguishing feature of the coastal landscape of the lower Adriatic. Their presence is also attested on the lower Tyrrhenian Sea. Disseminated throughout the Trabaki coast in the Abruzzi region where are those called Trabocchi, in dialect of Molise and Abruzzo, in the province of Campobasso, Termoli, Chieti and south of Ortona and in the Gargano coast, more widely present in the area between Pescici and Vieste where there isn't any promontory without one of these giant structures, the ancient Trabucci are protected by the National Park of Gargano, which adopted them as a sign of respect for tradition and environment of the Gargano, as a symbol of civilization, are now followed following the favorite subject of artists and craftsmen. Costa dei Trabacchi The Trabacchi coast Costa dei Trabacchi, is a stretch of coast province of Chieti, which includes the countries situated between Francavilla al Mare and Vasto. The coast is full of quaint fishing overflow, some of which have been converted into restaurants. 
The coast is also known for the presence of the so-called Danunzio's Hermitage Promontorio Danunziano, where stands the villa that the poet Gabriele D'Annunzio used with his mistress for the writing of his novel Trionfo della Morte. The cities of the coast are Francavilla al Mare Ortona San Vito Chiatino Rocca San Giovanni Fasacesia Torino di Sangro Casalbordino Vasto San Salvo Notes References Paula Hardy, Abigail Hole, Olivia Pazan, Puglia and Basilicata, 2008, ISBN 1 74179 089 1, page 93 P. Barone, El Marino, O. Pignatelli, I. Trabacchi, Machim da Pesca della Costa Adriatica, Sierra Edizioni. 1999, in Italian, M. Fasanella, G. Danitis, Il Trabuco, Vieste F.G., Grafiche Laconata, 1992, in Italian Pietro Cupido, Trabacchi, Trabacanti e Briganti, Ortona C.H., Edizioni Menabo, Libraria di Abruzzo Teresa Maria Rosino, Rita Lombardi, Raffaella Speciuli, Ignazio Polignoni, I Trabucci della Costa Garganica, in Italian. See also Trabuco's area of diffusion, Gargano, Pescici, Rodi Garganico, San Menio. Vico del Gargano VST area of diffusion of Trabaco or Valencia variants Ortona San Vito Chiatino Termoli Vasto See also Chinese fishing nets <laughs>